set to kick it for Washington. Big kick, 55 yards, juggled by Ryan Switzer. And Switzer turns it upfield. Switzer into the open field. Switzer is gone. He'll go all the way for a Cowboy touchdown. That one came from the back judge, Sean Hockley, from deep center field. That certainly looks like it's on Minnesota from where that flag came from. See, Joseph right there got a grasp of 51 Alex Mack and actually hauled him down with his left arm. He was trying to keep Mack from getting being mobile and getting upfield to the second level of the block. This is a third and five. The pitch for Henry, and he's going to get the first down and more. Henry off to the races down the sideline. Can they catch him? They won't. Watch President as he collapses down. Once Henry gets to the edge, it's just about that speed. 6'3, 247 pounds, and you're that fast. Impressive what he's been able to do. Time of possession has been dominant in favor of the Jets. Smith, pocket holds up. Deep ball, separation. Tyreek Hill. Goodbye, Hill. Touchdown, Kansas City. And that was a hill of a throw by Smith. <laughs> Years. That's that, that's part of the redo. Uh, Jake Cutler, oh boy, he's back, and then Trevor oh, Simeon. Sh yeah, just gotta get that one out of the back of the end zone to avoid uh, further issue. It's a safety. Brett, did you hear me? No, I didn't. That was an oof. Oh yeah. Five yard line, automatic three points. All right, so Matt Paradis uh, snaps that one over Simeon's head. But They'd have to punt this one away. Here's your punt. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Got him. Look at James O'Shaughnessy right there. Looks like old school Kyle Brady in that 80. James O'Shaughnessy, one of my favorites, came out of the draft a few years ago. Small school. Aaron Jones has checked in for him. Got him the eye. And he takes it and now bounces out. Fresh oh, legs. This Aaron is Jones. It. This is the it's touchdown. Green Bay wins. I think we may have a new star in Lambo. On his first carry of the day, in after Williams basically needed a blow, he does the blow by for a touchdown to win the game. Yeah, and this is this is all what we talked about all game. Dirk Cutter mentioned it. Mike Smith mentioned it for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Lane integrity. They failed to deliver. And Jamal Williams, as he did all afternoon, made them play. And Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones on that one. Excuse yes, me. Yes, it was Williams that did the job to get them to that position. And then Jones carried the mail in for the touchdown. White's definitely holding Gronk. That wasn't called. And then he's holding them again and then gets away with it. They don't call it. He intercepts the pass. It's a little banged up. He's down. Someone comes by and hits Gronk from behind. And then Gronk, this is going to get flagged. Oh, Gronk's 100%. Oof. He that deserves to get flagged. The other side. If it's 
seemed like he ran for more than 61 yards. Well, he did. Take a look at this with our eye vision. And I'm telling you, Andrew, this is a oh no, oh no. When he makes this move right here, you're thinking, just get down on the ground. Don't lose us any more yardage. And then right now, the pom-poms come out. Yes, yes, he can do it, he can do it, he can do it. Incredible return. He covered 127 yards. Two-score game, Kaiser. Pump fakes, here comes Bosa, football is loose. Perryman had it initially, who's got it? Chargers football. The ball and trying to make something happen. Bosa comes around the edge, he's running the pursuit, and to have the instincts to chop at that football, get it off when his defense has to make a big play. Really nice. Mm. Bosa, NFL's defensive rookie of the year last year with 10 and a half sacks. He has now eclipsed that number at 11 and a half. Jared Cook's day is going to have to be huge. Raiders sent in an extra lineman. Adal Alexander. And Lynch picks up the first down and more. Borshawn Lynch will go all the way. 50 yards for a Raiders touchdown. Giants got some issues at linebacker. Nine, ready. You ready? Let's go. On first down, handoff is to Ingram. He gets out. Shifts inside the 40. What a run. Ingram still going down to the 11. No flags on a 72 yard run. See this hole that he has to run the ball through and a great job up front by that offensive line and Brandon Coleman number 16 has done such an excellent job as a wide receiver in the blocking game he's the one who sprung Camaro a week ago for a 74 yarder against the Rams and this time he helps get Mark Ingram in the backfield on third and nine for Gabbard Rams bring extra pressure that's picked up, and that's <laughs> intercepted at the 40-yard line. Alec Ogletree is taking it the other way for a touchdown, Los Angeles Rams. Philadelphia staying out west all week. Davis. Oh, oh yeah. Down the sideline, he goes. What a run. Justin Britt got out there, helped lead the way with a block. That's a gain of 21 for Mike Davis. Just watch Davis, not once. There's one. There's two. There is three. All right. Marshawn Lynch would have been proud of those. Maybe, just maybe, on try number six, they have found their back. Antonio Brown. Jackson's played very well this year for Cincinnati. Lots of time for Roethlisberger. The check down to Bell. Almost always a good option. Does he go out of bounds? No whistle. No signal. And it's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. Uh, boy, Jordan Evans. I don't know if he thought they were playing two-hand touch or what, but he didn't get him down. He didn't get him out of bounds. And the Steelers with an interesting celebration of a 35-yard touchdown. Bell did it to him in Pittsburgh. Just a simple check down. He catches the ball. He comes out of his what is the that? backfield, and he's in bounds. He is in bounds. And what kind of a tackle is that by Jordan Evans? Not good. Backup player. William, William Jackson down. there as well, just a bystander. The only thing is, did they hear a whistle? I don't believe they did. But what is Jackson doing? No idea. No idea. Uh, it looked like he's looking at Evans as if to say, I thought you were going to push him out of bounds.